Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to use PowerPoint slides in your Windows Movie Maker to create a movie. Today I'm going to show you how to create this little movie. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to create your slides. These are the slides that will form the background of your movie which you're going to make in Windows Movie Maker. I've already prepared these slides over here as you can see and what I will do is I will show you how to create this first slide. Now to create a new slide you just go up to the right hand top of your PowerPoint application and just hit new slide. This will bring up a new slide for you to use. Over here you'll see this is where the text layout is and the one that you're looking for is a blank text. So all you need to do is just click on blank text and it'll open up in blank. The next step is to create the background image. So over on the left hand side just click inside the little box and go down to background click on background it will open up this little image and right over here you just click down go to full effects which will open this go to picture and then select the picture that you want to use I've stored my pictures already, the ones that I want to use in a separate folder. Okay, I've selected my pictures before and I've placed them all into a folder where I can get easy access to them. So the first one I want to use is this one nice with a lovely sunrise or sunset on it. So all you need to do is click on the image, say insert, OK and apply. What it does, it applies this image to the background. You cannot move this image around, it becomes the background of your of your picture. The next thing you want to create is a title that fits into the image and to make it look a little different we will we'll use Word Art which is part of the Microsoft PowerPoint application. And you can just choose anyone over there, say OK. All you need to do now is type in your text. So we'll say yeah, uh, the world we live in. Hit the OK button and there is your text. Now if you move your cursor over it you'll see it'll make a little arrow point and all you need to do is move it to wherever you want it to be and by just dragging on the sides here you can increase the size and move it around any way you like. Okay, and this is the slide created. Now I want to show you how to create a slide that looks similar to this. First step again, a new slide, select an empty background, next right click inside and I can right click inside here as well and say background go to full effects, picture, select picture and we're going to use this image and we're going to insert it. Sometimes your picture size might look a little bit strange. If you click over here it says lock picture aspect ratio. It means it'll keep the aspect ratio of the picture so just click on that and the image will size correctly the way it is otherwise it might just come up a little distorted. Next click OK and then click apply and there's your picture in the background. 
The next step is you want to place a picture onto the side, the same as I've done over there. So we'll just go back to this picture. You go to at the bottom here. It will see that one over there, which says insert picture. All you do is click on insert picture. It'll open up your pictures and let's say we want to put the desert picture into there. Hit insert and the picture will ap appear. Now with your you'll see it will make a little crosshair there. All you need to do is pull the picture down to size it, grab on the sides, hold your mouse button in and just pull it down. And you can resize it until it fits your screen nicely and just place it. To move it around you can also use your left right up and down arrow keys. If you press it once it'll move with around 10 pixels at a time. If you hold the control key while hitting the arrow key it'll just move one at a time. So let's take this here and move it to here, sort of more in the center. And now we'd like to add a little text here. So we go to our word text again, our word art. Let's choose that one. We say OK. And we will just type in desert. Click OK. And there's our word. Now we can place it anywhere. Again, you can resize it. Pull it down to the bottom here. Maybe it looks yeah, that looks a little nicer. And there we go. And this is the way in which you create your pictures. Now to save them to a file where you will be able to access them, let me just delete these ones that I've created now, get rid of them, and delete them. Okay, I have seven images here. Now to save these seven images in a format that I could use in Windows Movie Maker, go to the first image, go File, Save As, and then here where it says presentation PPT. Click on the little down arrow over there and select, click it down some more, go down until you see JPEG. JPEG file interchange format. Click on JPEG and let's just select a new folder for it to go to and let's call these slides and all you need to do now is hit the save button. The next thing PowerPoint will ask you the current slide only or every slide and you want to choose every slide you want all your slides to be exported all seven of them so you just hit every slide and PowerPoint will now save all the images. Uh, once it's done it'll tell you and let's open up the folder and just make sure that they're all there and what what PowerPoint does, it'll place all the images in a folder called Slides. It'll create the folder itself. You don't need to create it. Double click on the folder and you will see that all your images that you've created are now there for you to use. Okay, next step is let's put all of this together in Windows Movie Maker.